Welcome back guys. Question, have you ever wondered naturally how big you could get your arms or your chest or your legs or your forearms just naturally without any performance enhancing drugs? Well then this is the video for you. Grab your tape measure, stick around and watch let's figure out how big your body measurements can be to be a natty level bodybuilder. So, full disclaimer, this really shouldn't be perceived as an upper bounds limit for human potential for natural athletes, even though it's kind of posited that way by the author Casey Butt. However, the way we should look at it is he's taken a history of years and years of overall winner, universe winner, all natural level bodybuilders for the past 40 years that compete in tested events and have passed the drug tests. So, one can make the claim whether they're truly natural, it might not really truly be, but really this should be perceived more as a how do you measure up versus that correlated set of athletes. So what did Casey do? He went back and collected a sample set of 400 natural athletes that had won shows. He then took the body measurements, body measurements of them from six different body parts, neck, arm, forearm, calf, chest, quad. He then added a second feature. He took the athlete's actual physical structure and frame into account. This makes sense because if you have a larger bone structure than someone else, you will be able to put on more muscle and will be able to have larger body measurements. He was able to determine the athlete's actual bone structure, frame size, by taking two more data points, two more measurements, a wrist measurement and an ankle measurement. These are the two most statistically significant and correlated measurements that you can take in a person that will determine your overall maximum frame, bone structure, body composition, etc. So now, with all this data collected from all of these athletes, he's created a formula that simply allows us to enter our inputs, which will then compare ourselves to that sample set. He'll do some math, but really it's pretty simple and you can just click on the link below and you can figure out your maximum measurements and body weight as compared to this set. I'll do mine right now and show you how it works. All you need to enter is your height, your wrist measurement, your ankle measurement, and your percent body fat. And then it'll spit out what that groups per and the alleged natural upper limit for your weight and all of your six different body measurements will be. I'll just fire mine up real quick, go measure my wrist, measure my ankle, and then I'll compare it to my physique update that I did back at the beginning of the year. Okay, so let's get the measurements. First one is the wrist measurement. They want you to measure your wrist just below the styloid process, they call it. This little bumpy thing right here. So let's do a quick measure right now for me. Uh, I broke my tape measure, so we're going to have to use some math and subtract by three because this used to be the thing attached to that big circle thing. Anyways, get me with the hand open to seven and a half inches. All right, next we're going to do my ankle measurement. Let's do this. They want you to measure at the smallest part of the ankle. And so that will get me... Uh, to nine inches. Okay, so now we just throw in my measurements and calculate it. I'm 5'11 and a half, so 71.5 inches, seven and a half inch wrist, nine inch ankle, and we're gonna compare this to uh, the video I did at the beginning of the year and my body measurements that I took at the start in January before I started my bulk, and I'm gonna guess that I was around 13 or so percent body fat. So we hit the calculate button and see what it spits out and then just see how I compare. A couple points I should probably make right now are first, uh, my body fat is a little higher than the body fat that they'd like you to have uh, to get your actual measurements. So my numbers will be slightly overstated for the measurements. Uh, and secondly, and maybe more importantly, is I'm not claiming natural. So we'll start off with the biceps. I measured an 18 and a half on the left arm and an 18 and a quarter on the right arm compared to the 17.9 predicted max size. So hooray me, I guess. 
both of my forearms ended up measuring out to 14 and a half inches, which is just slightly larger than the 14.3 that the algorithm spits out. My chest measurement came in at 48 inches, which is just about an inch smaller than the max predicted size of 48.7. And then it's on to the quads, and these I measured in at 25 and a half inches, which is just pretty much right in line with the max, maximum expected size from the output. My calves, however, were a different story, getting blown out of the water when I only measured 15 and 3 quarter inches, as compared to 17 max size. But then again, who really cares about or even notices calves? Would you rather have bigger arms or bigger calves? I rest my case. Then we get to the very last body measurement, which is the neck. I come in at 17 and 3 quarters, which is just around the max size of 17.4. And lastly, we look at my body weight, which was just under 226 as compared to the max bulk weight of just over 227. Uh, you'll see there's two numbers here for the body weight, bulked versus lean, and really the difference is just hydration. It's whether you're in your bulking phase or you're dehydrated and getting ready to step on stage, which will be the lighter number as you're holding less water. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, hit the like button and subscribe. And I also left in the description below the link so you can go test this out for yourself. See with your measurements and inputs how you would measure up and what your perceived maximum body measurements are. And by perceived I really mean more accurately how do you measure up versus the physical measurements of people with a similar structure of yours that have achieved the overall and some of the best wins in the natural bodybuilding contest.